Well, hello there, Maria here. I'm gonna show you today how I paint these mandala bowls. Um, it's very easy, actually. I don't use any tools to make the perfect patterns, so just kind of wing it. So here is a, it's a air dry clay. And these bowls. So what I start with is a. Um, just a, a matte medium to seal the clay. Now the paint would probably seal it too, but I like to have this um, sealer on first because it makes really good surface for the paint. So I just put, you can see how it soaks it all up and then you let it dry and it turns the same dry color as, as the, in the beginning. So it's really easy. Try to get the edges too. If necessary, you can also sand the bowl. This one was very smooth so I did not have to sand sand any bumps and lumps. All right so while I'm at it I'm just gonna do both sides. And then you let it dry. Easy peasy. If you don't have any patience, you can use a, a heat gun or a hair dryer to paint it. There we go. As you can see, <clears throat> I used uh, two different colors on this one. And uh, this one is all turquoise. But I decided I'm going to use two different colors on this. Be this on the bottom and this on top. I like to use lighter colors because the mandala shows up better on a light background. You could use a dark background and then use a lot of light colors like white. If you wanted to do like a monochrome white pattern over the top, you could do that of course. So what I do, I put two coats of paint on both sides. So I painted them, both sides, and it's ready to go. So I have a few examples here. Um, you might wonder how I get the clay to bend like that. I just have something, let me see. I use an upside down, yeah, actually an old Mod Podge bottle, It's it has indentation in the middle but it doesn't show up on the clay so we just put the wet clay over it like that and you can bend it and bend the sides as far as you want them but then they're bigger, I will use like a Maybe a large lid for <clears throat> bigger plates like this one. And here I embedded a, a lid inside and I used epoxy clay to adhere it to the paper or the air dry clay. So there's so many ways you can do this and it's simple. So as you see, I start with some kind of bullseye or uh, flowers in this case and then go around lots of stripe obviously but I like to ha use a lot of different kinds of patterns and that makes it more interesting so uh, let me show you I use uh, mostly painters pens and Posca because they're permanent. This is Elmer's. And I have a bunch of 
different colors. So I like contrast. So I will start with something in the middle. I don't measure anything as far as width. As you can see, they're not really even, but I like that. So maybe start with uh, green in the middle. I'll do something different than the others. So you might have to go over each pattern with uh, several times to get the strengths of color that you like. So we'll start out something like that. I have to go over the green, you can tell. And then I uh, want to maybe do some other pattern to go around it. There are no rules here. I'll just uh, to make it interesting, make sure you have a variety of colors and uh, variety of patterns. So there you can see. So then I have to decide, do I want to paint the inside here of the red outline or just leave it like that? I could paint it just for fun, I guess. So then you have to choose a color that uh, kind of be cute. Here's a nice Posca blue. The hardest part with painting is to paint with inside inside the lines because you don't want it to look sloppy. Even if it's not perfectly symmetrical, you don't want it to look sloppy. And here, if I wanted to have more of a contrast between say the green and the blue, I would paint uh, some other color, maybe white or to outline it. Things like that you can decide as you go along because uh, it might not be obvious right away how you want it to, to look in the end. So. I'm not going to film every single line that I make, but get the idea. So since I have that, like that, I want to maybe put a white again, like here make a, one can make a large dot like that and see I'm going to go with maybe a dark blue around the green These painter's pens are very rich in color when they work, which is not always the case and it's very annoying. I'm sure you've had that experience with permanent markers. They make blobs and other unpleasant drips where you don't want them like that see how that just like made a blob but paint is easy you can fix it so I'm gonna let that dry I will do a few more lines and then come back 
Well, as you can see, I got some headway here, so I, I'm going to have to go over the white line one more time. And here I have kind of broken up the design with more lines. And here I'm going to put a pink, like a scalloped border. The pink doesn't show really well on this yellow, so I will have to outline it. The last bit is always the hardest, I find, the very, like, edges. It kind of has to tie it all together. I will finish this and come back with what I do to outline here the pink to make it show better. So I'll see you in a bit. There we go. I can always add or uh, emphasize the blue again here. Everything pretty much has two coats. So whether to leave it like that, one could paint the edge a solid color, but then um, And that will kind of take away all the yellow background positions. I do feel like I should add something more there. I could do some random size dots, like on this one here, as you can see, the dots here at the corner, where there was no space left, is smaller than the other ones, but not by a lot. So, well... Tricky. Well, I will come back when I decide what to do. So I ended up just doing an orange line around the edge here, kind of to meet the blue, and uh, filled in some white dots to make it a little more exciting. So it's not as uh, Uh, vivid as those but uh, as far as crazy patterns but I'm happy with it so the last step is to varnish them or it so I put three coats of varnish on the inside it's very glossy and two coats on the outside so I take it outside because this is uh, really horrible smell so that's it for now you can uh, easily paint your own ball thanks for watching